Premier Daniel Andrews has ditched another of his predecessor's transport policies, but this time he's announced an alternative. The government will do away with plans to sell off the Cranbourne Pakenham rail line and will pour billions of dollars into it instead. The rail line upgrade will generate 3,000 jobs and still cost more than $2.5 billion. Basically, throw away the timetable. You won't need one. The previous government's plans to privatise the Cranbourne Pakenham line had been dumped. It just didn't stack up. It just didn't meet the needs. Labor's plan includes nine level crossing removals instead of four, 37 new trains instead of 25, and four station upgrades instead of three. There'll be three crossing removals in Noble Park, two in Clayton, two in Murrumbina, and two in Carnegie. Clayton, Hughesdale, Murrumbina and Carnegie stations will be upgraded and possibly developed for retail and residential use. The Labor version uh, makes a bit more sense. More trains, uh, more often, more level crossings removed. But don't hold your breath for the promised new trains. The first one won't be running for at least three years and all 37 won't be on track for between six and seven years. The opposition called the announcement a rebadging and a joke. Victorians uh, could be forgiven to think that April Fool's Day has come a day early. The government concedes it's paying the private consortium led by Metro Trains $30 million for its planning work. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News. A fireman is in